What is up? What is going on, everybody? I am back this time with a Seattle Mariners video. It has been a minute since we've talked Seattle Mariners, but there was a few roster moves that were made today. So I'm going to make a real quick two to three minute video about it. Before I get started, I'm about 25 subs away from 2,500. So if you guys are new here, you like the Mariners, like the Seahawks, I think you'll enjoy the content, the community we have here. So hit that subscribe button and hit the like button for me as well. That just helps out my channel tremendously and gets the video out to more people. So here's the roster moves today for the Mariners. Uh, reliever Penn Murphy was claimed off waivers by the New York Mets. Um, Right-handed pitcher Easton McGee outright in AAA Tacoma along with reliever Adam Aller and catcher Luis Torrens. Not going to spend too much time on those last three. They're all minor league depth guys. Torrens is the third, fourth catcher that you bring up in September when there's an injury. Adam Aller's bullpen depth if someone gets hurt. And Easton McGee looks solid in his one start, but he's coming off a major injury. I believe he's coming off Tommy John. Um, he's going to miss likely most of 2024. And again, he's he's depth for the rotation. Glad to have those guys back. I think they can help in some capacity, but not a big deal either way. The move I did want to talk about a little bit was Penn Murphy. I think that's one that, you know, people know Penn Murphy. He pitched really well for the Mariners in 2022 and was pretty good in 2023. So it's frustrating to see a good pitcher leave the organization. I will remind everybody, Murphy also coming off, I believe Tommy John is what he had. Um, or the shoulder injury. I don't know if it was the shoulder is the elbow, but he's likely going to miss all of 2024. Um, if he does come back, it's probably going to be August, September. And it just, middle relievers like Penn Murphy, and I don't mean this insulting, I like Penn Murphy, I'm rooting for him, but guys like that grow on trees. There's a lot of Penn Murphys out there. And when a reliever is going to miss an entire season like that, there's just not a lot of value to him. Um, there's just not a lot you're going to get out of him. And listen, this was not, we hate on John Stanton all we want, everything. This was not some sort of money pinching move that the Mariners made. They try to pass a guy through waivers. It's likely not going to pitch next year to free up a 40 man roster spot. Didn't work. He got claimed. They did it last year with Casey Sadler and it worked out. They were able to get Casey Sadler back, even though he wasn't able to pitch for the big league squad in 2023. They tried to do the same thing here and it didn't work. It, it, it's truly to me, it's a nothing burger. You know, I'm wishing Penn the best. But guys, he's coming off a major injury. He may not pitch till 2025. He's not a, a dominant relief ace or anything like that. He's he's in that fodder with Justin Topa, Gabe Spire, Taylor Saucedo, Trevor Gott, um, Matt Festa, you know, guys like that. They're all kind of in that same mold. They can be good. They have their moments, but they can struggle. Like, And, and you're going to lose. There's going to be 20 moves like this a year where guys like that try to sneak through waivers. It didn't work. Truthfully, if there was more Mariners news going on, this probably isn't even a roster move that deserves um, a video. But I did see some people on Twitter kind of upset about it. And I'm just telling you guys, like, if you want to be mad at John Stanton, Jerry, and Justin, there's other things to get frustrated about. This is not one of them. It's a middle reliever that they try to get through waivers. It's likely not even going to pitch in 2024. There, there's nothing to stress about with this. Um, but, yeah, I just want to make the video and chat about it a little bit since – um. You know, it's something, it's some Mariners news that happens. So remember to hit that like button as my dog is barking. Clearly time for me to get going, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys for more Seahawks videos and Mariners content coming up as we start to wrap up the world series and get into free agency. So have a great day, everybody, and take care. Go Mariners. Peace.